Roads. Where we're going, we won't need roads. Or drivers, as it turns out. So, driverless cars. Have you heard about them? Just kidding, I know I talk a lot about them. Like, a whole lot. And I know you know how excited I am about the idea, but what if we went a little extra futuristic and started talking about driverless cars that can fly, huh? Yeah, I said it, fly. This isn't just a case of wishful thinking. Or at least it's not just me being wishful. Airbus Group, the multinational company known for making freaking airplanes, is working on an autonomous flying car. They're calling it Project Vahana. And more than that, they plan to have a working prototype by the end of 2017. The idea of a flying car hitting the roads, or rather flying over them before the end of this year, boggles my mind. There are so many challenges to overcome, but one of the big ones is the decision to go autonomous. Flying an aircraft is no small matter. You have to be aware of way more potential hazards than you do on a terrestrial vehicle. Not only do you need to maneuver around stuff that's in front, behind, or to either side of you, you also have to worry about anything that might be below or above you. Oh, and you have to do all that while keeping the aircraft nice and stable. A sophisticated autonomous system would handle all those issues on its own. One of the huge advantages technology has over a human operator is that it can accept, monitor, and react to data from multiple sources without becoming distracted by any one element. So while a human driver might notice a potential problem up ahead while missing something that's coming from the side, a machine can keep an eye on everything at once and calculate the best option for a response. But how do you design a flying car to work in cities that just weren't designed to accommodate them? It's not like we have runways for cars. Airbus's solution is to go vertical. The flying car will likely have multiple rotors, kind of like quadcopter drones you can buy and fly around. This will allow for vertical takeoff and landing, eliminating the need for a car to get up to speed in order to take off. But why build a flying car in the first place? Well, it's really cool. But that's hardly enough justification. One actual answer is that it could help alleviate congestion in cities. These vehicles wouldn't take up space on city streets, adding to traffic problems. They could fly over landscapes. That means, in theory, they could be more efficient. Instead of having to navigate lots of turns and one-way streets, a flying car could go from point A to point B in a more or less straight line. That's the ideal, though. Obviously, any future with flying cars in it will have to include regulations that establish where and when a car might fly over parts of a city. Flying cars would also allow people to get around a city without putting stress on critical pieces of infrastructure, such as streets and bridges. That could potentially save cities millions of dollars on maintenance and repair budgets, if it works, of course. Assuming the prototype works well, Airbus has an ambitious plan to launch cars into the skies by 2021. The first batch of flying cars would serve as short-distance urban aircraft. In other words, you wouldn't go on a family cross-country road trip in any of these. Sorry folks, this car won't do that. Moose outside should have told you. My guess is that these vehicles would most likely be part of a fleet of cars operated by a company rather than personal vehicles. In other words, I don't think most of us will have a flying car in the garage by the mid-2020s, but if the plan comes together, you could be hopping into a car for a quick flight to the movie theater. How awesome would that be? I'm cautiously optimistic about this plan, but knowing how far away we are from true autonomy with cars that never leave the ground, I think Airbus is going to have a lot to prove before any cities approve flying taxis. So here's my question for you guys. What would it take to convince you to jump into a flying car? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks to Toyota for sponsoring this episode. If you enjoyed it, please click on that like button down below. And to join the Forward Thinking Think Tank and officially earn the title of Smarty Pants, subscribe to the channel. See you in the future.